Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw BB from Brawl Stars. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we're going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. We start on the outside, we're going to curve up and then curve down towards the inside of the eye. Now let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to line up the inside edge, curve up, out towards the right and just hook that down. Now let's draw on the lower eyelid. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Curve down, and then up and in towards the inside. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now let's thicken up the eyelash. From the top corner of the eye, we're going to step down. We're going to angle up and out towards the left. Now I'm going to taper this back down, just up on top of the eye. Now I'm going to curve the top of the eyelid coming down and then in. So we're just going to taper this in towards the top of the eye, and we're going to fill that in black. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Stepping down, angling up, and then out. Taper that down and in. And we're going to curve across the top of the eye, and then down. And we'll fill that in black. Now we're going to move to the inside and draw two ovals for the pupil. Starting on the left side, start at the top of the oval, and go back up. Now let's do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. We're going to move to the inside and draw on the eyebrow. So on the inside edge of the left eye, we're going to draw an angled line, coming down and in. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing, going up and then out. Now from the inside, we're going to draw two short angled lines coming up and in. And we'll go out towards the corner of the eyebrow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now in between the eyes, we're going to move to the center and draw on the nose. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve down and then up. Now we're going to step down and draw on the mouth. We're going to draw a slightly longer curve between down and then up. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the hairline. From this point, we're going to step up. We're going to curve down in the middle, just up above the eyebrows. And then back up on the right side. Then from the side of the hair, we're going to draw two angle lines coming down and then in. So let's start on the left side. We're just going to go around the eye and then come down. And then from the bottom, we're going to draw two short angle lines going up and out. And we're going to draw two more angle lines coming down towards the bottom of the hair to right about there. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the chin. Starting from this point, we're going to curve down in the middle and curve up towards the right side. Let's work our way around the side of the head. Starting from the bottom, we're going to curve this out and then up. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving out and then up. On the right side, we're going to add a point. We're going to come down with a short angled line and then go back up towards the top. Now let's move in and draw in the center of the hair. Directly above the left pupil, we're going to step up here. We're going to curve over towards the right, up towards the top, and then hook this back over towards the left. Now let's add in some texture. From this point, we're going to curve out towards the right, and we're just going to hook that down. At the top of this point, I'm going to move over towards the right, draw a short line going up. Now I'm going to round out the side of the head, and then pull that back in towards the top of this point. I'm going to go out. Round out the side, and then pull that in. Let's go back to the left side. From this point, I'm going to draw a short angle line coming down and out. Now I'm going to round out the side of the head, and then pull that in just underneath that point. Go up, round this out, and then pull that in. Now we're going to add two earrings on the side of the head. Start on the left side, we're going to start with a short line going out, coming down the side, we're going to go out again, and then come down 
the side. Now let's draw on the bottom. I come in, come down, cross, pull that up with a short line. Now here I'm just gonna pull that in behind the side of the head. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we're gonna line this up, start with a line across the top, down the side, go out towards the side, and we'll come back in, and I'll draw on the bottom. Coming down, in, up, and then in. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. We're gonna start with the inside edge of the jacket first. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Over on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the jacket. Now let's move over to the right and do the same thing. Coming down to the same height. Let's add in the collar. We're gonna step down, we're gonna angle up and out towards the left. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're just gonna pull that up and in behind the head. Now from the inside of the jacket, we're gonna draw two straight angle lines going up and out towards the side. And then from here, we're gonna go straight up and curve this in behind the collar. So let's start on the left, we're gonna go up and then bend that in. Let's add the zipper on either side. So from the collar, we're gonna step out, draw a straight line coming down. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw a series of short lines going across the zipper from top to bottom. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's move back up and draw on the collar. From these two points, we're gonna connect it with a curve coming down and up. We're gonna step down and just trace that along the bottom. From the bottom corners of the jacket, we're gonna step up and draw a curve coming down and up for the top of the pant. Now we're going to step up and draw that same curve for the bottom of the shirt. Now in the center, we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, we're going to go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, and curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, I'm going to curve down and up towards the toe, and do the same thing on the right. Now let's round out the top of the foot. I'm going to start from the toe. We're going to curve up, curve down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're going to step up and just duplicate that. Now let's move back up and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the bottom corner of the jacket, we're going to step in, curve out, round up the leg and then pull that in towards the top of the foot. Now we're gonna add in the edge of the boot cuff. Stepping up, we're gonna draw a curve from left to right, coming down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna step down, draw that same curve, going across. And then from the inside of the ankle, we're gonna draw a small circle. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're starting with the arm on the right, about halfway down the side of the body. We start out here, we're gonna curve out and then down towards the wrist. Let's add in the thumb. We'll draw a small half circle coming in and then back out. At the end of the thumb, we're gonna add a bracket. Now at the bottom curve of the thumb, we we'll curve down and up around that bracket. Then we step down, curve down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we start out here, we're gonna curve around I'm going to pull that in towards the top corner of the collar. Let's add the cuff of the sleeve. Starting from the wrist, I'm going to curve down and then back up. We'll step up and then draw that same curve. Now on the inside, we're going to draw a small circle for the button. Let's add some patches on the shoulder. We'll start with a star first. Starting from the center, we'll start with a point. Angle down and out towards the left and right straight out along the side then we'll come down and in. Now let's draw on the bottom of the star. We're going to angle down and out on both sides. Now we're going to pull this up towards a center point. Now just down below we're going to add a circle and we'll draw a small heart in the center. Starting from the center we're going to go up and then down. 
go back to the top and go in the opposite direction. Now on the side, we're gonna draw a half circle. Start from the side of the arm, curve in, and then back out. Now let's go over to the left side and draw on this arm. We're gonna have this arm bent, holding the gun. So we start at the top of the collar, we curve out, and then down towards the elbow. Now we're doing an overlap. Step in, draw a short angle line going up and out. And at the end, we're gonna add an oval for the thumb. Curving around, and then back down. Now we're gonna add three fingers along the top. Just above the thumb, we're gonna add another oval. And we're gonna tuck another oval in behind. Starting from the top of this finger, curve up, around, and then back in. And we'll do that one more time. Now we're gonna angle the gun going up and in behind the head. So we'll start on the side of the finger, draw a short angle line going out. Now I'm gonna follow this towards the inside of the finger, draw another line going in. Now I'm gonna draw that same length line in behind the thumb. So we start down here, angle up, in behind the thumb, and we'll continue on the inside. Now on the ends, I wanna overlap a longer line. Starting up at the top, angle down over those lines, the same thing on the inside. Let's flatten off the top. Starting on the left, we'll go across. And at the bottom, we'll go across. Let's close off the end with a straight line. And then on the inside, we're just gonna pull this in behind the arm. Now I just wanna continue this line going up and in behind the head. Now let's draw on the lower part of the arm. Directly below this finger on the end, start down underneath the handle, Curve down, round out the arm, and pull that up and in behind the body. Now we're gonna add the cuff. Starting at the bottom of the thumb, curve down, and then out. Let's add the trigger on the side. Starting from this corner, we go straight across, just up above the fingers. Now I'm gonna draw a half circle. We go up, and then down, leaving a gap just above that line. We're just gonna pull that in behind the hair and continue in behind the gun. Now over on the left side, we're gonna add that chain. So on the end, we're gonna draw two short lines coming out. We're gonna close off the end with a half circle. Now let's draw a chain link coming down. Starting at the top, we're gonna draw a small half circle. Come down the sides with a short line. Then we'll close off the bottom with a half circle going the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna draw a circle in behind these two links. Starting from the top, go around, in, and then we'll continue on the inside. And at the bottom, we're gonna add a circle. Starting from the bottom of this link, go all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small circle in the center. And then in the middle, we're gonna add an X. Now the last thing we're gonna do is show the tip of the gun in behind the head over on the right side. So start on the shoulder, angle up and out, in behind the hair, we'll go in behind the earring, and then up towards the side. Let's round out the end, curve around, and back in, and we'll draw that same angle line coming down and in behind the head. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's BB from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.